come to Eternal Manna, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are looking at Psalm 50, when God goes to court. And today we are looking at verse 2. From Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth. Zion, that's another name for Jerusalem. God has come personally to Jerusalem to judge his people. Zion is a very unique, special place for the nation of Israel. Zion is where God dwelt, where his presence was powerfully manifested. And Zion is the place where the people gathered corporately to worship him. The temple is called our beauty and our glory. The Jewish people greatly prided in the temple and they loved the temple. They longed to be in the temple. And you see that many times in the book of Psalms. It is called the perfection of beauty. I mean, there are many beautiful places in the world. Uh, scenic places, natural beauty, created beauty. But to the Jewish uh, mind, the temple uh, superseded all those beautiful places. Zion is called the perfection of beauty. The most amiable place of the whole world because of the presence of God the worship of God, and the resulting blessings of God. I mean, it's kind of similar today. We love to go to church. We go to a building. We go to a place where God's people are gathered. We worship the Lord. We hear the word of the Lord. We engage in fellowship one with another. And we are blessed. We are blessed at the end of that experience. And that's what it was like to the Jewish people. Zion, the temple, God's presence, worship, and the resultant blessing. Now it says, God shines forth. If you are uh, very observant, you will notice three S words that have appeared in verses 1 and 2. Verse 1, God speaks. Verse 1, God summons, and now here in verse 2, God shines. When a judge enters a courtroom, everyone stands respectfully. Now here is God entering into the assembly of his people in the temple, and he is accompanied by the shining of his glory. The glory of God simply means the total character of God. And God's character is going to shine forth. Psalm 80 and verse 1 we read, You who sit enthroned between the cherubim shine forth. Psalm 94 and verse 1, O Lord, the God who avengers, O oh God who avengers, shine forth. Reveal yourself. Reveal your majesty. Reveal your greatness. It's a prayer. It's a cry from the heart of the people. And when God enters the courtroom, he comes with the outshining of his glory. In dazzling blaze of light, which is the symbol of God's presence. Light, it always talks about God's purity and holiness. And God is entering the temple in holiness and in purity. And he is going to sit in judgment over his people. So, how do you look at the temple of God? How do you look? At the church of God? Is God the supreme object of worship? And do we see his glory? 
Are we touched by his glory? And as we go out into the world, do we take that glory with us so that people can see that we have had a life transforming experience as a result of being in the house of God? Amen. God bless you. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.